the Apostle John actually wrote the book of Revelation while on the small rocky island called Patmos in the midst of the Aegean Sea. Patmos operated as a state prison, like the Alcatraz of our time. John was banished to the island by the Roman Emperor, Titus Flavius Dominatus, around 90 AD. John was forced to labor in the mines as punishment for his faith in Jesus Christ. While on the island, John heard behind him a loud voice as a trumpet. He turned around and saw seven golden candlesticks. Jesus stood in the middle of the candlesticks. The Savior was clothed with a garment down to his feet. His hairs were white like snow and his eyes were like flames of fire. His feet were as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice sounded like the roar of the Aegean Sea. Jesus held in his right hand. Seven stars. Out of his mouth proceeded a sharp, two-edged sword. His face was as bright as the sun. John was horrified by the vision, falling to the ground like a dead man. Jesus placed his hands on him saying, Don't be afraid. Jesus said he was the beginning and end, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. Though he was crucified, he now has the keys of hell and death. Jesus commanded John to write about the things that he sees and hears and send them to the seven churches in Asia. John was to write about the things that were happening and the things that would happen in the future. Jesus then explained to John that the seven candlesticks were the seven churches, and the seven stars were the angels of the seven churches. Revelation is not now and never had been concealed from the servants of God. The word reveal means to make previously unknown or secret information, known to others. The fact is that Satan do not want people to understand the book of Revelation. He does everything in his power to frustrate them. One of his strategies is to convince people that the Bible, and in particular, the book of Revelation, cannot be understood. He uses many tricks to teach that God does not exist. This is the reason why many brilliant minds think the scriptures are myths and legends. Satan used these strategies in Old Testament time, and is using them again today. Therefore, Jesus signified the messages as he gave it to the Apostle John. Signify means to communicate with signs, tokens, and symbols. Jesus gave a panoramic view of future events, political organizations, and religious movements, in symbols. Today, the prophecy is the last book of the Bible. It is divided into 22 chapters, although John did not organize the book into any order. Let us take a brief overview of the book. Chapter 1 covers the giving of the revelation. In chapters 2 and 3, Jesus sends seven letters to seven churches in Asia. A vision of God's throne in heaven, and a mysteriously sealed book, are the highlights of chapters 4 and 5. In chapters 6 and 7, Jesus unveils the apocalypse, and God's people are marked for salvation. Chapters 8 and 9 feature the sounding of seven trumpets by seven angels. In chapter 10, John eats a bittersweet book that was given to him by an angel. In chapter 11, two witnesses in sackcloth are disgraced. A woman, clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head, gives birth to a child, and the dragon is cast down from heaven, in chapter 12. Chapter 13 describes two beasts rising from the sea and land, and explains the mark of the beasts. Chapter 14 shows Jesus standing with souls redeemed from the earth, and the puzzling messages of three angels. Seven last plagues are poured on. Sinning mankind, in chapters 15 and 16. Chapters 17 and 18, describe the fall of mystic Babylon, and the punishment of the harlot. Christ, the rider on a white horse, defeats the beasts, in chapter 19. In chapter 20, Satan is bound in the bottomless pit for 1,000 years. Finally, Chapters 21 and 22 reveal the, the city of God, the new heaven and the new earth. Jesus gave two warnings regarding the interpretation of prophecy. First, no prophecy should be subjected to the private interpretation of humans. Second, no one is to add to, or subtract from, any words of prophecy. 
If anyone adds anything to the messages, God will add the plagues that are mentioned in the book. Equally, if anyone subtracts from the messages, God will remove their names from the book of life. Jesus pronounces Blessings on those who reads and listens to the words of the prophecy. He will keep his followers through the hour of temptations. They will have rights to the tree of life, and may enter through the gates of the city. Please remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can receive the latest videos. Leave a comment in the section below. Your views and opinions are important. Also, check out these cool videos.